All right, next up now on Thursday, December 30th, Peach Bowl, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Atlanta, home of the Falcons. It's the Pitt Panthers and the Michigan State Spartans. Uh, Michigan State, one-and-a-half-point favorites, 60, 60-and-a-half the total uh, in this game. Um, the biggest question mark going into this bowl game, will we see Kenny Pickett uh, on the field for the Pitt Panthers? Heisman Trophy nominee, uh, terrific season, but obviously one of the top – quarterback prospects in the 2022 NFL draft. Uh, and there's some big, you know, question marks, whether he's going to decide to play in this bowl game. He hasn't decided yet. It's undecided right now, whether he's going to suit up here for Pitt uh, in this uh, peach bowl matchup against Michigan state. Um, we know the offensive coordinator for Pitt, Mark Whipple uh, has stepped down and he's taken the OC job at Nebraska uh, under Scott Frost. So, that's something of, you know, this Mark Whipple was a good OC. He was a very good play caller this year for Pitt. And he, that dynamic of him working with Pickett was a big part of why that Pitt offense was just so phenomenal this year. So, you know, with him not being the play caller now, of course, uh, you wonder, you know, how that's going to go. And, of course, Pickett, we don't even know if he's going to play yet. Kenneth Walker's going to play him. A little bit surprised by that, but he is apparently going to play him this bowl game for Michigan State. Of course, terrific running back and an incredible year. Uh, so it looks like, uh, not, and from what I've read too, there was a good tweet, Mel Tucker saying that he hasn't heard from any of his players that they've decided not to play in the bowl game. So it sounds like a Michigan state team that could have a lot of hands on deck here, uh, in this matchup against uh, Pitt. Of course, we talked about Purdue a second ago, Connor Mack team that early in the year, pretty solid defensively. And it turned to shit. Yeah. Same thing with Michigan state. I mean, <laughs> defensively yeah. just uh, brutal, uh, down the stretch. They got ripped apart by Michigan, Purdue put 40 on them. Uh, Ohio State put a 56 spot on them. Uh, even an inconsistent Maryland team scored 21. Penn State with a, you know, hot and cold offense scored 27 against them. So, you know, the Michigan State defense struggled. I think the way I'm going to approach this game, Connor, is if Kenny's, if Kenny Pickett is playing for Pitt, I think I would look to Pitt in this game. Because yeah. I think that's a sign they want to win it. One last victory with this great Pitt quarterback. When you're being thrown around there with Dan Marino, you know, as one of the best quarterbacks in school history, that's saying something uh, for Kenny Pickett. And it took him a while. I remember watching this kid in year one. I was like, this guy sucks, man. He's absolutely yeah. brutal. And, and now all of a sudden, just but he worked at it. He stuck with it. He worked on his craft. He worked on his arm strength. He's much more fit and nimble than he ever was before. He couldn't run for shit, you know, in his first year at Pitt as the quarterback. Now he's a running dynamo. He's running the football like crazy this year for Pitt and the big touchdown run with the fake slide against Wake Forest in the ACC championship game. So credit to Kenny Pickett. First year, I thought this guy's never going to be a big time college quarterback. He's got no shot in the future in the NFL and the way he's worked at it and improved himself. is That's all work ethic and want to. So credit to him for doing that. If he plays in this game, I lean Pitt. If he doesn't, uh, and I actually lean over in this game if he plays. If he doesn't play, I certainly lean Michigan State uh, in this game for sure because obviously you're going to see, I think, Nick Patty is his name, the backup quarterback, and certainly hasn't who? much this year for Pia. Who? Yeah, exactly. So if it, if Pickett's in, i probably like the over and lean Pitt as well. If he's not in, I would probably have to look to the Spartans, and it sounds like right now Spartans may be one of those teams with uh, that doesn't have as many opt-outs for this game as some other teams. Uh, what do you think uh, here, Connor? I don't know if Pickett plays in this game. I, I, I don't think he does, but we'll see. Um, if he does, yeah, I think you got to look Pitt. I think the defense is a little bit better. I think on Pitt they can make a few more stops. Michigan State, though, they played a, that game, that last game against Penn State. All that money, everyone was on Penn State. The line moved six points, and Michigan State beat them 30-27. They still have that leaky defense like you talked about. Um, if Pitt gets in, give me Pitt, and, yeah, lean over. 